What's up guys? Um, wind kept me off the water pretty much all day today. So I uh, hadn't really had a whole lot of whole lot to do but sat around watching videos all day fishing so it kinda got me in the mood. So I figured I'd show you guys a few rigs. I'll go ahead and get rigged up for tomorrow just in case I can get out there. Um, what I'm gonna show you first is just your uh, you know your standard live bait troll rig for a king. Starting out with just a uh, some single strand wire. It's 43 pounds. It's an odd number, but uh, it's made by Malin Malin Hardwire. It's a pretty pretty reasonable brand. You know, good price. Uh, holds up well. First off, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get section you know 18 24 inches. Go long enough just so if you get any wild bites, you know they can't go high and catch your mono or anything like that. And uh, if you have to. You know, cut your line because of a shark or anything like that. You got plenty more leader to work with. But uh, first off, you know, a lot of people for their first hook, they like to use treble hooks for both rigs, both front and stinger. But uh, I like to do a little different. I use a just an octopus hook like this. It's a mustad six aught octopus hook, or they call it a beak bait hook. Nah, works nah, good. A lot of times with a treble hook. <clears throat> When you put it through the front, front of their nose like that, you get these uh, two hooks sticking up, and makes it makes the bait troll weird. You got weary fish, you know they might be able to pick out that extra two hooks. This way, if you just put this, you know, sink this right through the front lips, that's all you got. You don't have the two extra little fins there to mess it up or anything. What you'll do is you get your uh, get your long leader line, your uh, pieces pieces single strand leader right here. And you'll just put this on here on the end. And give yourself about three or four inches or so. And then bend it back over. We're just going to tie it uh, Do a simple haywire twist. You know, you start with your, your two, your two wraps. And then you start your twists. You want to do, you know, I usually try to do about four or five twists. Real simple, easy knot with this single strand. Seems to hold up pretty well. Hadn't, hadn't had too many, too many problems with it. You know, not really catch anything big. You know, finish twisting it. A lot of times your tagging will just snap off like it did there. If not, <clears throat> you know, you just want to cut that off. All right, next you'll get. You know, you want to have another piece of leader line. Your uh, piece of steel leader. Pull a piece off here. You know you want this piece to, depending on how big of a bait you're trolling, you know, you want to give yourselves about, say if you're trolling a four or five inch bait, you want to have about six, seven inches of wire. Give yourself a little extra playroom. I'll show you what I do. I do this part a little different than most people as well. A lot of people, you know, try to snail that first hook and haywire their bottom hook. But what I'll do is, I get my uh, get my line like this, and I'll put it through the eye of what will be my first lead hook. And once again, you know, I'll just do a quick little snell knot there. Or I'm sorry, not a snell knot, a uh, haywire twist. You two, two twists, and then your four to five wraps. So I got a cat running around, kind of making things a little tough. All right, once you uh, put your haywire twist on here, you'll uh, you'll see you have your main your main long leader, and then your short second piece of strand here. What you want to do is real important to keep your tag in. You don't want to cut that off. Not quite yet. What you'll do is you'll just kind of work this down, get it even right above, right above the shank of the hook, so the wire is running even with it. And you'll take your wire and you'll go ahead and make a couple more twists right around the shank of the hook, the main lead hook. You know, you want to do 
Doesn't have to be a whole lot, you know, three or four twists and you're doing all right. And then you'll see you're left with this little bit of wire sticking out the back just like this. And that's when you get your treble hook. I'm using some eagle claws, just some number four treble hooks. Nothing special. And you'll take that and you'll put that right on the end. And you'll just tie it off with a haywire twist right here at the bottom. So like I was talking about earlier, if your uh, if your uh, tag end doesn't snap off, you know a lot of people want to cut it off with their pliers, and you know and you leave. It's not a noticeable amount, but it's enough that it's able to grab your grab your line and give it a little nice nick enough to break the line when you're fighting a fish or so. So what you want to do is just kind of bend your tag end over back and forth. Do that a few times. You feel the wire start get a little weak. And just keep doing that. Start bending a little bit more. And it props right off, then you have a clean, smooth thing. So you got a nice little little lead hook with your stinger treble. That way you catch those short bites. And when I'm trolling the beaches, you know, if I'm not just sitting there sitting there just drifting uh, free line and I like to put a little duster on. It's just a duster I found at work. Perks working at a marina where there's bill fishing boats. You can find random tackle in the trash and stuff. One man's trash, another man's treasure. So you just slide that duster down, right down to the end there, and you'll finish it off with your swivel. It's got another standard mustad swivel, barrel swivel. Doesn't have to be anything serious. I like to get the little bigger ones when I'm going offshore beyond the breakers. Give me a little more. I don't know. It just gives me a little sen better sense of catching the fish. I don't worry about, worry about the swivel breaking, even though I don't think that's really a big issue. I've never had a swivel break on me. Just kind of a personal thing. Put the swivel on. Finish that off with a haywire twist. You see I'm Big on haywire twist with these single strands, a nice easy knot, it's able to sense down on itself if it needs to. And like I said again, you know, it doesn't break off, so we'll just bend it back and forth. Tag end pops off, nice clean, smooth knot. There you go, get your trolling rig. Hopefully that'll catch me a nice big old king tomorrow if it's calm enough. Alright, the next, next rig I'm going to show you all is just a, uh, <clears throat> another standard rig. Uh, this one is what I use if I'm just drifting the beaches, free lining my bait. Again, you know, you'll start off with another piece of single strand, the 43 pound leader. Um, <clears throat> this one doesn't have to be quite as long. Um, I've noticed with these, when you're drifting, you don't have as many wild hits or, you know, short hits or anything like that. They usually, with the drifting bait, they're able to lock onto it pretty well and uh, hit it pretty well. So what you do is just get your uh, single strand. Once again, you know, you'll get your your uh, octopus hook. I usually try to use a little bigger one, uh, you know, a little bigger hot hook when I'm uh, drifting. Just, you know, since I'm going to, in this rig, I use a single hook. That way a little bigger hook gives me a better chance of catching them. What you do is you know do the same thing. Just take your take your hook, give yourself about three or four inches of tag line on the end. We're just gonna haywire twist that one. Like I said, I'm big on these haywire twists. Simple, easy knot. Works well. Alright, so now we got that on there. Do the old twist. Twist some brick, work it back and forth, snaps off. Alright, next we'll grab our grab our swivel. Let's go to the box for this one. Alright, it's back to this. You know, again, I like to say use a little bigger, bigger swivel, just my own personal thoughts. 
And you'll take that on the end. Again, give yourself three or four inches. Bend it over. Do your head wire twist. Once you, once you tie that head wire twist a few times, you know, you start to get the hang of it, you can tie it pretty quick. It would break the line off pretty quick. And uh, there's my drifting rig. You know, very simple, very run of the mill. Single lot, single octopus hook right on the end, single strand 43 pound leader on a swivel. And what I'll do is I'll just hook that, you know, right, right in the neck of the fish, right behind the head. A able to give them plenty of mobility. The fish is able to swim pretty pretty regularly how they normally would. You know, single strand, wary fish can't see that quite as well. Blends in with the water a little bit. One single hook, you know, nothing hanging off the back for them to catch. Just a single hook, you know, blends in pretty well. There we go. Simple little baits. Easy baits, easy to tie, you know, nothing special. Catch a lot of fish, holds up well holds up for the fish you know I'm going after it's a great little uh great little setups that work well thanks for watching guys we'll uh, we'll catch you next time